Thank you. Do you have any other question? You said you had two questions. Yes, but then if the organizer okay. has enough time? No, because okay. we allowed the others, I would give the same thing to you, brother. Okay, so this is just a short question. So, I'm so earlier on you were talking about uh, Muslim sh uh, should not pray towards an idol or object or anything uh, because God is formless and He is beyond our comprehension. So, from my understanding, from just my, uh, what I've observed, it, I probably believe it's wrong, but when the Muslims perform their pilgrimage at Mecca, the direction of prayers are facing towards a stone pillar in the center. So, what is, uh, isn't this contradicting to what? Very good question. Earlier? The brother asked a very good question that if Islam is against idol worship, I did not say God is formless, I said God is imageless. There's a difference between formless and imageless. If you interpret your way, there'll be a big, big blunder. I said God is imageless, I never said God is formless. There's a difference between formless and imageless. Coming to your main question, that if Islam is against idol worship, when you go to pilgrimage and you bow down towards the Kaaba, isn't it same as idol worship? And this is then my book, The Most Common Question. It is number nine. The ninth most common question asked by non-Muslims about Islam is, if Islam is against idol worship, why do you bow down to the Kaaba when you pray? And the answer is, no Muslim ever worships the Kaaba. The Kaaba is our Qibla, it's the direction. Because we Muslims believe in unity. For example, today all the Muslims want to offer salah, want to pray here. Some may say let's face north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. There will be disunity. So for unity, wherever you are, you face towards the Kaaba. This is the verse of the Quran of Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 144, which says that when you pray, face towards the Kaaba. So Kaaba is the Qibla, it is not we worship it. Furthermore, Muslims were the first people who drew the world map. And al udrisi in 1154 was the first human being who drew the world map. When the Muslims drew the world map, South Pole was on top, North Pole down, Kaaba was in the center. The Western cartographers came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole top, South Pole down, yet Kaaba is in the center. So if you stay in the north, you face towards the south. If you stay in the south, you face towards the north. If you stay in the west, you face towards the east. If you stay in the east, you face towards the west. Kaaba is the center of the world. When people go for Umrah, when Muslims go for Umrah, or we go for Hajj, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. What is the reason we circumambulate? Because it's the commandment of Almighty God. But logically what I can think, that every circle has got one center. When we circumambulate around the Kaaba, we are testifying that there's only one God. And the statement of the second Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Umar, he said it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Hajj. Chapter number 56, Hadith number 675, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, the second caliph of Islam, he said that this black stone can neither benefit me, can neither harm me. I'm kissing it only because I've seen the Prophet kiss it. This statement that the black stone can neither benefit me or neither harm me is sufficient to prove that Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. And lastly, at the time of the Prophet, there were Sahaba who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he or she worships. So this proves that no Muslim ever worships the Kaaba. The Kaaba is the Qibla, it's only a direction. Hope that answers the question. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.